right. I am one very excited Toby Hodges because I'm here aboard the HH44 number one. sailing in some pretty perfect conditions off Barcelona the European Yacht of the Year trials. Currently sailing upwind, doing about seven and a half knots with a bit of swell. So we've just come out of Port Genesta here, put this big square top mainsail up, plenty of power here for this full carbon cruising catamaran. Let's say we got 16 knots of power and wind speed. We're doing 7.6 at the moment at around 40 degrees to the apparent breeze. So that basically means we're pointing kind of like monohull and doing monohull speeds up wind at the moment. And we'll see what happens when we set a reaching sail. So I am hoping we will get the chance to spend more time on this boat do a proper full sail trial on it uh, and be able to show you all the all the bells and whistles at which of of which there are plenty on this boat anyway if this turns out to be a quick sail trial well at least we've seen something just going through attack now so we'll see how that happens overlapping genoa big powerful winches back here both both of which have two speed foot pedal whip power to them and both the helm pedestals are swing pedestals as well so you can select not only which side you want to steer from but exactly where you want to steer inboard from central position or outboard. Ben's just dropping the port board down now. So big curved dagger boards, that's one coming down now. So I have selflessly torn myself away from the helm. Let's show you what it looks like. Uh, we've got a, a force four blowing at the moment and still got an awkward swell, but at least we're going with it now and we're doing somewhere between eight and 10, depends when you're on the waves. But it's a really reactive boat and it's uh, for a 44 foot cruising boat. That's pretty healthy average speeds really. So we've now got about 15 knots true. And we are largely at about somewhere around 100, 110 apparent and making as I say between eight and 10 knots. which in sort of 11 knots apparent breeze is not bad really. You see good space between the helms, but you get visibility through these so much glass here. So that's the Uchmeo 52 we're sailing with going downwind. Also having these swing pedestals each side, it really helps because you're doing all your trimming in this aft quarter. So being able to move the, the, steer, the basically the steering column out of the way is actually a really a big benefit. So it's not just for the helmsman's benefit of being able to see either steer from inboard or from outboard, but yeah, keeping the wheel out of the way so you, you can use these high powered winches. View from up here, you can see just how much solar space there is as well. So that main sails on an Antal flat winder. I'm not actually using it on the traveler at the moment, but and then the German sheeting led back to those powered winches. It's got a lovely mast from carbon rig on it, and these big carbon seaboard dagger boards. So if you choose the OC version, the car the more cruising oriented version 
you know, you can see you've got a self-tacking jib rail here. This one has an overlapping Genoa rigged on at the moment. And uh, yeah, sorry, the cruising version has an aluminium rig and fixed keels rather than these big um, dagger boards. Genico on a top-down furling system. So you see it coming down from the top. Remote foot control for the powered winches. So yes, it is a busy helm pedestal and quarter air each side. But there are a few neat features as well. Including these swim platforms. So not only does this give you a, a protection in the transom that a lot of cats don't have, they're just left open. Uh, this one has a gate, obviously, which closes, but there's a line here and that releases that because it's quite a heavy platform so that releases that and those both sides turn into swim platforms and you've got a boarding gate here so that swings out open which again most cats don't when you look at how high their um, freeboard is a uh, way to get on and off from the side of the boat is a really really sensible thing to have um, and then you've got a helm seat here which drops down there so the helmsman can sit out board and steer from here but obviously you're going to be low down when you're sat here uh, so you're looking through the glass a bit more but you have got a good view of the sails and then really like the sea deck grippy on the deck really nice under bare foot don't know how well it'll do longevity wise but it's easy to clean and it's well proven on race boats yeah, as I say, look on the four and a half kilowatts uh, solar panels on this Bimini on the top of the roof. Starboard board going up. Uh, it's a bit different to the boat, boat show brochure, isn't it? I mean, it's a heck of a boat in port. This is what it's like now punching into an ugly sea we've got a two and a half meter swell running uh, and it's really short period as well so you see us going up and down a lot and this is what it's like in the hulls so it's a carbon epoxy boat doesn't seem overly loud down here very, very stiff, lightweight build. So this is the, the guest hull, as it were. With a double and a single in it. So much natural light, which is all emphasized with all this white furnishing. Let's have a look on the port side too. You can see from this, it's probably a bit stabilised, this camera, but yeah, it's quite an ugly seaway now. We've got a bit high freeboard and we're cutting straight into it. While I'm here, these windows are awesome. A stiff build allows you to put the big tempered glass windows in. And when these opened up, you can't imagine you'd ever need any air con. There's so much ventilation in this boat, natural ventilation. Here's the owner's suite. Probably don't want to be taking a shower right now, but only a space to. The stowage midships, dagger board casing here curving down. Look at all these whole windows, natural light, and double berth aft. So that's lifting the aft bank there. And this is under, under power at the moment, so not only see all the access, but there you've got your 30 horsepower, I think, beta diesel. And off the back of that, basically acting like a high-powered alternator to charge your battery bank, uh, is the electric engine, which you can, is also used for propulsion and regeneration as well. I'm sorry, 
much quicker tour than I want to be, but there's a couple of good reasons for that. One, firstly, I hope to do this in a lot more detail. So if we are seeing, looking at this now, it's because I'm just trying to do a quick one while I got the chance for a first sail. Hopefully we'll spend a lot more time on this boat and really go through it in more detail. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the quick one. This boat starts at, I think it's 1.4 million for this boat. Well, that's what it starts with. That's what this boat is. But they start at about 1.1, I believe. Full carbon epoxy boats. Whew, hope you enjoyed the quick one. What a cool boat. A really, really cool new catamaran for 2023. See you next time.